Hey YouTube, I'm back again. All right, so not gonna really have a chance to do this yet, but over the weekend, I installed a camera arm and I put it down low here on the crash bar, the case guards, whatever you wanna call them, um, just so I can take the bike out for a ride and kind of give you more of a look at how well, a motorcycle, or like a Goldwing, a big 1,000-pound bike, moves, uh, especially laterally. The reason I put the camera down here rather than just putting it on my helmet and such is because um, a lot of people, and I suppose I do too, level your own head as you're maneuvering with a bike to keep your eye line relatively level. It just seems like it's more natural. I'm going to post the link to the kit that I bought. It was like a 50-piece generic cheapo kit with a cheapo camera. But I had to get weird about mounting it. The arm that they sold with it was cheap plastic. And if you just touch the camera, it would just wobble insanely. There was no way you were going to get any kind of a viewable image out of it. So I put a block of wood on it, screwed it through the arm, and then just electric taped it. Um, I've got the camera body aimed where basically I want it. And it's a quick removal, so it's not like it's stuck on the bike. It's just got two thumb screws back here. You just have to release those, and it'll come right off. But it's going to kind of give us that view. So hopefully it comes out well. But it's forecast to rain for the next couple of days. And not going to get a chance to uh, take the bike out at all. But we're going to see how that turns out. And I'm going to see if I can just kind of give people an idea of really how well this bike moves. A lot of people see a bike this size, all this hardware on it, all this stuff on it, and they assume that it's a slug, that it's slow, which it relatively is compared to a sport bike. But a lot of people make the mistake of thinking that gull wings don't move well, which they do. They move very well, especially if you're not afraid to throw the bike around side to side. Um, this, again, is my third gull wing. I've been riding it for like 20 years now, and I have no issues with just slaloming um, side to side laterally inside of a, a lane or between lanes, uh, especially if there's nobody around. I also want to make a video of the button count on a gold wing. I can't express this to Honda enough, and I don't think people actually voice that, but I'm going to make a video of an actual count of, on a 1500 like this one, how many buttons come factory in the cockpit or on the dashboard, whatever you call it. I know it used to be called the cockpit. I don't know if it still is now, but I'm going to probably make that video next, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, those of you who come back and those of you who've subscribed. Thank you. Appreciate it. Take care, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.